Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Now today is the 2nd of December and well today we're talking about what to do when a family doesn't understand mental health. Now I'm not speaking from personal experience because my family do understand my mental health very well and they are very supportive. However, I know some people aren't that fortunate and I'm going to give some little tips on how you can cope with not really being understood. So let's get on with the video. So first off, Number one, try to engage in conversations that talk about mental illness. Have a conversation with them and say, hey, this is what's going on in my life. So for me, that's, hey, I have schizoaffective disorder. I didn't last year. Let's talk about it. I have hallucinations. I have delusions. I have mania. I have depression. I'm not schizophrenic and I'm not bipolar. I'm in between. Just starting a conversation with them so they start to understand what it is you're going through. I know this might sound a bit off considering you're like, well, they don't understand mental health. But trust me when I say this, having a conversation about mental health with them will do more good than harm. Unless you have a really unsupported family who don't believe in mental illness, in which case don't do that. Second, try to remember that you are not your illness. There are so many other parts to you and your life that don't revolve around mental health. You are not your mental illness. Next thing I suggest is just accept that they don't understand it and try and move on. Uh, five? Four? I can't remember. Next, I would say, if it's something like self-harm, then I think the best thing you can do is, as long as it's healed, you don't want to be showing fresh self-harm to anybody. If it's just scars, don't be afraid to wear short sleeves, even if it is winter here. If you're in Australia like Alana, then, okay, don't wear jump, don't wear shorts, don't wear jumpers. <laughs> But if it's scars, don't be afraid to wear short sleeves. Now I know it's cold, bring a hoodie with you, or a jacket, or a blazer, or a jumper to party over the dark, something. And then if they ask what it is, you can have a conversation about it and talk about how your mental illness affects you in a way that caused you to self-harm. It's opening a door to that conversation. Like I said, I really do think talking is the best way forward. The tip I've got is try not to let it bother you that they don't understand what you're going through. I know for me, when before my grandparents did research on it, they'd, they'd ask me about it all the time, which is fine, but when it comes to trauma, but when they ask me questions about my mental illness, I answered them honestly. I'm very open to having a conversation about mental illness because I think it's a conversation that needs to happen. But my best advice is just enjoy the festive time and whether or not your family or friends understand your mental illness that does not define you and you genuinely have more to live for. So embrace what you have and go about it in your own way. That's all I've got for this video. If you didn't know I have a Patreon where I post, where I'm going to be posting once a week during December and then hopefully carry that on into the new year. Uh, it's three dollars a month, it helps me out, it, it's currently helping me get furniture for a room at my mum's so I can eventually move in. Ooh, spoilers. Ah. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. For, like my birthday off my mum and I'm having furniture. For Christmas I'm having furniture. I bought a chair, even though I've got this one. I've bought a foldable chair for my desk temporarily. 
I need to buy a bedside table and a lamp, which I'm going to do when I get paid by YouTube. If you've got any subject requests, leave it in the comments below. Please do best to spell it correctly because if you spell something wrong, I don't know what it actually means. So, yeah. Make sure you turn notifications on and, like I said before, subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Peace.